In this module, we'll talk about and look at a case study for an enterprise for a medium-sized organization. And we'll talk about the security and how they modified their security and what the posture of IT and security was and how they changed it. So organizational characteristics. Location Lahore, about 350 total staff, or so a group, a, cong a conglomerate, and consisted of about five different companies coming all together under one umbrella and, and forming a group of total 350 people, 15 IT staff looking after the entire group, so looking after five companies, which was a bit of a challenge, uh, 25 total servers, one main data center in their head office, one DR site, and one backup site. So uh, this medium-sized organization, as we can see, is now going beyond what the small-sized organization did, which we looked in the previous module. And it's an IT service business in the media, in the television and media industry. Organizational culture. Medium-sized, again, profitable, very profitable IT business being run by smart entrepreneurs. Good internal culture, as opposed to the previous module of a small-sized organization in which we saw that there's a very chaotic structure. This uh, case study for a medium organization, they are very disciplined. And several employees have been with the organization for about 10 years, a very long time. So there's a lot of commitment in the senior management. Organization does lack processes, so then still not mature up to the process level. The teams do have execution discipline. And a lot of team members have the execution discipline and the management has built up this culture for execution. And senior resources are experienced. IT setup. Windows 2010-2012, Linux Server OS, um, Oracle and MS SQL databases. Um, in the small size organization, there was no Oracle. They were using some MySQL and some SQL server. Um, so here we have a more advanced um, uh, database setup. ASP.NET 4.x applications, about 15, uh, which are small applications developed internally. Windows 8 and 10 desktops, about 300 uh, are there. Um, one Cisco ASA firewall in the data center. And they are using, surprisingly, they're using Microtech, which are very low-end routers as edge routers. Continued, they have um, an asterisk voice server for the call center. And it, it has about six to eight trunk lines and 10 seats in the call center. One DR site, which is offshore international site, and one backup site in Pakistan. Um, the offshore international DR site is because of the nature of the business, and they had to have it uh, outside the country. And they are using a low-end Panda antivirus. They have Active Directory. They have unlicensed Windows and unlicensed software mostly in the organization. Again, little shocking and surprising. And they're using MDemon for email server, but they are migrating to Microsoft Exchange. So let's talk about the security posture. Completely absent uh, security posture like we saw for the smaller organization. No hardening done, really no security efforts, no vulnerability management, no security management or governance structure, no responsibility uh, designated for security staff, no policy or staff dedicated for security, no management commitment previously. The security requirement, you know, what really changed? Uh, there was a security incident which led to leakage of competitive data to a third party by an internal employee. And um, the license renewal was due by the regulator of this organization, and that drove a security commitment by the top leadership, and they wanted to really change the security. So driving change was the executive management concerned about information security, security culture, and leakages happening, data breaches and lack of culture and, and security incidents happening in, this, in the future. So the CEO approaches a security consulting company, which was ours, uh, Delta Tech, and the consultant advises the management to go for a complete security transformation because there are no shortcuts in security and you really have to build up security from the grassroots level. And the security transformation project took about 15 days for initiation. Um, in layer one, in the security transformation model in layer one, it took about three months for hardening. Two, uh, in layer two, vulnerability management took about a month. Uh, security engineering took a long time. It took about four months, mainly because we were doing this 
on the software and, security, and implementing security controls on software is hard. It's not easy and takes time. And then finally, for the governance and ISO certification, it took about three months. Conclusion, the senior resources were very committed and very organized and um, uh, quite mature. And they were running the security program at the top and, you know, running the day-to-day. -day, and this is why the security program was quite successful, as opposed to the smaller organization that we saw in the previous module. And the demonstration of security commitment was essential for the organization's uh, survival because of the licensing issue and because the management feared that another security incident would disrupt the, the, uh, the business of the organization. So ISO 27001 served as a credible credential for both the regulator and customers of this organization and was a very successful outcome. Thank you very much.